More fallout from the pandemic to report tonight. The nation's report card revealed some concerning news about our children and learning loss. The National Assessment of Educational Progress released its latest math and reading test scores today. It revealed historic learning setbacks nationwide. News 4's Mauricio Casillas breaks down how students fared here at home. The National Assessment of Educational Progress, or NAEP, test is done every two years. It tests fourth graders and eighth graders on their math and reading skills. It's a test that began in 1969. Nationwide math scores saw their largest decrease ever, and reading scores are the lowest they've been since 1992. The last few years have been very, very difficult in American education. Dr. Michael Foyer, the dean of George Washington University's Graduate School of Education, tells me that while he's not surprised by the findings, he's concerned about how long it'll take to get back on track. It's pretty much all hands on deck here. The schools can do some of the important work to help kids do better. They can't do it alone. This is going to require uh, a good bit of, uh, of a group effort here. NAEP scores are on a 0 to 500 point scale. For decades, scores have pretty much either stayed the same or improved until the pandemic. Focusing on the biggest decreases in test scores for our region, in the district, fourth grade math scores dropped by 12 points compared to 2019. In Maryland, eighth grade math scores were down by 11 points. In Virginia, fourth grade math scores saw a drop of 11 points. And in West Virginia, eighth grade math scores were down by 12. To put that in perspective, researchers tell the Associated Press a 10-point drop roughly equals a year's worth of learning. It's an unprecedented decline. I can tell you one thing. Children are very happy to be in school. Their teachers are happy to be there with them, and that's the work of recovery. Christina Grant is D.C.'s state superintendent of education. She says there's a lot of work to be done, but hopes that extra tutoring and hands-on learning can help get things back on track. And I don't think that these scores or any set of metrics should put us in a state of blame or saying, well, we could have done. None of us, myself, yourself, have ever lived through a global pandemic. The NAEP scores also give us a glimpse at whether students who return to in-person learning earlier perform better than those who stayed virtual. There are no measurable differences in performance between districts and states who stayed in remote learning longer than others because of this widespread pattern that we're seeing. Mauricio Casillas, News 4. That national report card also found scores fell most sharply among the lowest performing students, which widens the gap between struggling students and the rest of their peers.